Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. This video is a continuation of my 12 Treats for Christmas and New Year's series with this fourth Christmas treat, Canadian Maple Walnut Fudge, a recipe for my free keto e-cookbook desserts and treats. I just want to let you know right up front that if you want to see any of the recipes in this e-cookbook, just click on the link which will be provided in the description below. And if you want to see any of the recipes I'm going to feature in this video, including the printable recipe for the Canadian Maple Fudge, just go to the description below and click on the appropriate link. I decided to make this tasty Canadian Maple Walnut Fudge for two reasons. It's a wonderful treat any time of year, but especially because this fudge would make a great homemade food gift. And also because there was a comment requesting that I make this video. By the way, this Keto Canadian Maple Walnut Fudge is adapted to be low-carb, sugar-free, gluten-free, so that it's perfect for people with various dietary restrictions and needs. And as with all the other recipes in my e-cookbook, for this recipe, you will need to make either my sugar-free sweetened condensed milk or my dairy-free coconut sweetened condensed milk. The macronutrient ratio for the Canadian Maple Walnut Fudge is 12.3 to 1, with 1 gram of total carbs, 0.3 gram of dietary fiber resulting in 0.8 gram of net carb per delicious square of fudge. So to start at the beginning, on the day that I want to make my fudge, the first thing I do is make a batch of either of my two chosen sweetened condensed milks, which will give me approximately one cup or 240 grams. I'd like to explain why I like to use my sweetened condensed milk to make this fudge. When you're using the sweetened condensed milk, the fudge is far more stable at room temperature and can be left out on a platter when you're entertaining or as a snack, almost like regular fudge. Also, using my keto sweetened condensed milk creates a fudge that has a perfect melt-in-your-mouth texture and is rich and satisfying without using any of the sugar. So, after making my sugar-free sweetened condensed milk, the first thing to do is let the sweetened condensed milk cool for about five minutes and during those five minutes make sure that you're stirring constantly. I also add the salt which I ground to a very fine powder and after the first five minutes and do stir occasionally. Let your Canadian maple walnut fudge cool to room temperature. When you notice that your fudge is just slightly warm at which point I add a good quality maple extract and stir very well to make sure that the maple extract is combined. You could stop at this point and have a very smooth, delicious maple fudge that's with no walnuts, but I really like adding the chopped walnuts for a wonderful crunchy texture and because the maple and walnut flavors complement each other so well, at least in my opinion. By the way, when you're chopping the walnuts, do make them into small pieces of various sizes. So toss the chopped walnuts into your fudge mixture and stir to combine all the ingredients into a nice homogeneous mixture. And while you're mixing, scrape the sides in the bottom of the bowl and then continue folding or stirring to ensure that the sweetened condensed milk, maple extract and walnuts are really well combined. <laughs> you don't need anything else. And as you can see, this is an incredibly easy keto fudge recipe. And if you need another reason to enjoy this fudge, look at the ratio. This is one of the most flavorful fat bombs you're ever going to have. Okay, now that everything is combined, the next step is to pour your fudge mixture into a parchment lined container. Then take your spatula and smooth and flatten the top of the fudge in your container. At this point, if you like, you can add walnut halves on top as I'm doing here. And to make these walnuts stick well when the fudge is done, to have them stay in place, just very gently press the walnuts into the fudge mixture so that it will set firmly. Lastly, cover your container with cling wrap and refrigerate. It will take about 30 to 60 minutes for your fudge to set completely. When your Canadian maple fudge is set, take it out of the fridge and then just using the parchment, carefully lift it out and place it on your cutting board and then peel the parchment from the fudge. I usually cut my pieces into smaller sizes than people do with non-keto fudge. I have to again mention, I really love making this fudge and having it as a treat for my friends and family. I find that this maple walnut fudge is very rich and has a satisfying mouthfeel that melts like velvet in your mouth and that's why you don't need really large pieces. 
By using my sugar-free sweetened condensed milk or my dairy-free sweetened condensed milk, you'll find that this fudge, as I mentioned earlier, is quite stable at room temperature and it can be laid out for at least an hour, sometimes longer, depending how hot your room is, of course. And here's my finished fudge. I really love this recipe and I think this compares very well with the best maple walnut fudge I ever had, which was before I was keto. We bought it in a small shop in Stratford, Ontario when we took our family to see a Shakespeare play during the Shakespeare Festival in Stratford. As a last helpful hint, I would like to suggest that the best way to store this fudge is in an airtight container and keep it in your fridge. It should stay really well for three to four weeks. That's if you can resist it that long. And if you're making this well ahead of time for some special holiday, it will keep for several months frozen in your freezer. I really hope that you'll like this Canadian maple walnut fudge recipe. If you've never tried it before, I hope you do. And most of all, I hope you'll enjoy it. To everyone watching during the month of December, Merry Christmas to you and to all the people who are special to you. If you're new to my channel or have not done so before, please subscribe, like, comment, and turn on your notification bell. And don't hesitate to share this recipe with a friend or on social media. Personal recommendations and endorsements are the best way you can help my channel grow.